I want to pause here from the comments of Matthew to, to show you this little video on um, gaming and grading. And I have to say, this, this, this video actually was brought to my attention like the first day of our class by one of our students. Um, and uh, if you're that student, thank you very much. If I remembered your name, I would say it right now. Um, but uh, come on up for your bump. If you, ever, if you never got a bump for that, I think I might have given you a bump. Anyway, this video um, really changed my mind dramatically about how grading should work. And so let's have a little look at the video, and then I'll talk about it a little bit afterwards. Right now, we're using a grading system that is essentially demotivational and sets up a reinforcing feedback loop for failure. Today's students first walk into a classroom or approach new assignments thinking of themselves as having an A+, at least subconsciously, and from there, with every mistake, there's nowhere to go but down. We need to recontextualize grading. In games, we've learned that progress encourages progress, and the human desire for efficiency is a far stronger motivator than the fear of falling further from one's goal. To this end, if you simply make all assignments worth points, let's call them experience for a lark, have all students start at zero XP and always gain points as they go, continuously progressing towards clear and tangible levels, each with their own benefits. Each assignment and each test feels rewarding rather than disheartening. It's more fun to gain stuff than to lose it. Additionally, this methodology never leaves a student at a point where they feel like they should just give up. The best part is that you don't even have to change anything about the way you already grade the class to do this. You'd still have the same total number of possible points the class was worth, and you divide them in the same manner that we normally divvy up letter grades. All you're doing is counting upwards instead of down, and corresponding the letter grades to levels as you go. So a very simple concept. Instead of counting down, count up. And there's no reason why we couldn't be doing that. There's, I sort of do that in this class, but not so much as I, as I could be. So as we go forward, you'll see this class turning into something, or as I go forward, you'll see this class turning into something where I count up much more than I count down.